Well, hello, creatures of the night. Okay, so for this drawing, I took a many, 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 many drawings of my friend and used that to create her face. You know, these things called references. By the way, I don't script my videos if you're new here, so get ready for very rambly sentences. Hence the YouTube name. But anywho, this is my friend Bean. Oh my goodness, she's cute. Wow. And I wanted to do a picture of her holding her cat Andromeda. And this cat did not work with the color palette at all. You can see there are some points where I changed the cat to like a neutral black color. Because just so I could figure out what on earth I'm doing with these colors. And then I changed it back to like the normal cat look. Also, if you stay, away to, if you stay all the way to the end, you'll get to see a bonus drawing. Wow. But anywho. So, Andromeda. I decided to make, uh, <laughs> I made Andromeda look kind of goofy. I wanted them to look like the piece of string cheese that they are. Um, but no, yeah. Um, and then here I am working on the hair. And my goodness, I had so much fun with the coloring of this drawing. Literally, it took me, like, a day to do, like, the, like, like a day's worth of time to actually do the rough sketch itself. But the actual coloring it in took me several days of, like, seriously working on this. Uh, but no, yeah, totally worth it. So for this, I wanted to make a dress that was as puffy as possible. Like, as puffy as possible. Like, so much puff. Layers. Layers. Um, a really, really puffy dress. You know. And then I gave her little bows on the back of the shoes. And no, yeah, I had a really good time drawing this. And then I set the drawing to gray, which is, like, my go-to um, for background colors. Because it's, like, it's so neutral, you know. Uh, setting the background to gray really helps you see what you're doing. And I feel like if I have the background as white, sometimes I make the claws a little too bleached out. You know? Like, I'll have... It, what, I, what I'll do is if I have a background as white, I'll make everything way too pale. Way too pale. Anyway, uh, originally I was going to go with a, a pinkish brown dress and some brown shoes. But clearly this drawing is life of its own. Once I start getting to these glittery colors. Um... And then I would, like, push back. I'm not ready for these glittery colors yet. I'm not prepared for these glittery colors. I don't even know where I'm drawing. Oh, right now I'm doing, um, shadows. Choose, I'm gonna change the... Get ready for some flickering lights, by the way. We're gonna go through a lot of colors. Um, but no, yeah. Right now I'm trying to figure out how to do it in color. But there's just so much going on. They end up having to change it to black and white. There we go. And then I'm going to use gradient maps. And then I'm gonna change the colors a whole bunch again. It's gonna be a whole mess. This is going to be definitely, I did not go in here with a design plan on what I was doing. Uh, oh, and then I start to add these little things. I'm going to add a bunch of patterns to this dress, by the way. My goodness, that took forever to do. Literally, like, days worth of work. This was such a fun drawing. Uh, I, loved, I loved doing dresses, if you couldn't tell. They're great. Um, but no, yeah. So then I start to add more shadows, add more highlights gonna be a long process for that pretty soon we're going to take this drawing and we're going to make it more of a rose gold and then i think we're going to change it to purple i think oof but that was also a good color the golden red ah gosh this dress is so cute and then i almost put this dark theme and now we're back to this pink this little pastel -y pink thing going on and i'm like okay good we've changed it this is like so pretty this is like the end color I finally found it. I didn't. I did not find the end color because we kept going. Um, uh, so many layers. So little time. So then here I am working on these patterns once again, which took so long to do. Where it's not described how long it took me to do the little tiny shapes on the bottom. You know, it kind of reminds me of one of those doodles you do on like homework in like middle school. I have like okay. My middle school homework is like 99% little swirlies. I actually genuinely, that pattern you see on the dress is just from homework. Um, so then I go to these pretty, um, like, grayish purple color. It reminds me of space, which works so well with their personality. Um, is she smart? Is she a little, is she a little space nerd? Yeah, yeah, she is. Anyhow, um, and then I add these little pearls to her hair and I gave her a little pearl necklace and it's so cute! Ugh, honestly, I think this could have been a finished product as well. And then I start adding freckles, which add too many freckles to her legs, which end up changing anyways, eventually. Um, or I guess too many kneecap freckles. 
So then I start adding some blue, and oh, it's so pretty. It's so pretty. I can't. Ah. Uh, and then I'm adding some patterns to the other side of the dress. I don't even know if those patterns make complete sense, but I do them anyways. And at this point, she starts to look like a sparkly, glittering diamond, which she basically is in real life. And then I add, like, and the, oh, yeah, I forgot. I added a trim to it. And at this point, I'm adding a bunch of random details. Oh, and then I um go in with a brush and I overlay it with, I think, dark something. I don't know, right underneath m multiply. But anyhow, I go in with that and it makes like these really cool shadows. It's so pretty. Oh my goodness. But no, yeah, once again, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we're getting close to the end, which means we're getting close to the bonus picture. And, oh yeah, then I add, like, this really cool background uh, to it. And, oh yeah, oh, and here's the bonus. And you've made it one with blue and gold. Anyway, please do not forget to comment and subscribe, and as always, love you guys, bye!